So if you're new to editing, especially new to Final Cut Pro 10, is it even called 10 anymore? It's just Final Cut. Let's just call it Final Cut Pro. How about it? One of the things I love about Final Cut is you pay once, you own forever. And with that price of admission, we'll call it, <laughs> are a ton of effects that you get with Final Cut Pro. So in this video, I want to show you a bunch of them, what you can do and some effects within the effects. So you're just gonna have to stick around for that. Okay, so I've got a bunch of clips here just to kind of give you an idea of some of the things you can do. Now, to find the effects, you come right over here and you'll notice all of these. Now there are a few, just disclosure, there are a few in here that don't come with Final Cut, but let's just start here with basic. So like right here, let's just look at this nice little shot of coffee. I, what do they call this? If you know what, what they call this type of coffee, Put it down in the comments, I can't remember. But look at this, hard light. So if I drop the hard light on here, notice how it changes that. And based on the shot, it'll really change it. Now, every effect you drop in, notice right up here, you can change the amount of it. And depending on the effect, you have more things you can do. Now, if you don't want it, turn it off. So think about that. So, and if you don't, and all you have to do is just hit undo um, and you can take care of that. They've got a negative effect, which I've never used. I've also used vibrancy. So I'm gonna drop vibrancy on here for just a second. And then what, when I've used this before, I do protect skin. Now there's no skin in this, but if you notice what happens is, look at that. It really just brings out some amazing colors. So these are under the basics. Now, another thing that's really cool about Final Cut is even before I open this, notice all of these options you have. And this is for any clip. So just here's a, a shot of a microphone. It's actually the microphone I'm talking into. But notice things you can do up here. I can scale it. Notice that. You can make it bigger, smaller. And if you ever do something and it's like, oh, no, I've messed up. Right over here, this little drop down, do that. Reset parameters and it goes back. You can actually crop. So I've used this effect a lot, like if I just wanted to do a, a uh, small box. So let's just say right there, but check this out. Then I can move the shot around. So this is just another way of doing it, and you get to that effect by there. Again, all built in, and you can distort, you can add stabilization, but this is really cool as well, and this will happen every time you put a, a clip in here. Okay, you also have these really cool built-in blur effects. So we're gonna make sure our clip is highlighted. And if you notice right there, it will, you, you can kind of tell which clip you're on. Notice it kind of outlines it in this yellow border. But if I drop the Gaussian on it, and by the way, here's a power tip, pro tip, whatever you want to call it. Notice by just pulling, uh, just putting my mouse over it, it actually shows you the effect before you even drop it on. But drop it on. And look at that, now if I wanted that blurred out, and again, you can change the amount here, you can really blur it out. And I'll show you, uh, I'll show you a way, I'm gonna undo that, that I use this a lot. So I'm going to duplicate this clip, and I'm going to scale it down, but then under it, I'm gonna drop the Gaussian blur, and look immediately what happens, and then, Go back in and I'm gonna blow this up just a little and I'm gonna defocus it some more and check out this cool effect we just did. So this is another way you can stack effects to create something really cool. Okay, for the next one, we've got this clip of this lady stacking rocks. I Look, I, uh, this clip and this clip right here I got from Canva. I don't know if you knew that, but Canva has uh, video footage you can use. Another reason I, I use Canva. But let's just say you wanted to turn that shot black and white. Well, drop it over there, and look at that. It's immediately black and white. So it's that quick to turn footage black and white. But you can do other things in here. You can tint it, you can add sepia tone. So let's say you wanted to really give this a different look. Again, just like that, you can change the color of something. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our uh, coffee pouring shot. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, I really need some coffee right now. <laughs> but now we're gonna go to light. And there's a really, there's a lot of cool effects in here. One I've used a lot is Boca Random. So if I drop this on here, watch what happens. 
Isn't that really cool? And again, if you want to see something else you can do really neat, I want to go to solids and I'm going to drop, let's just say we'll drop whites in here. And it's just solid white. Now you can also change the white up here. You've got different colors, so I'll just keep it smoky. But you can even drop that on top of that. And it may be a little hard to see there, but look at that. You see the kind of the bokeh there? So you can create a really cool background with a light over just a solid color, and it just gives you a nice little texture. But you've got a lot more in here. Other ones I've used before are the flashing. So if I put the flashing on this, for example, of course, I've still got the, uh, the Gaussian on that. So if I turn that off, check that out. That's pretty sweet. All right, now coming on down to nostalgia. Now, this is one I've used before. It was kind of cool. So here's a, a little B-roll that I shot a friend of mine doing her online course. But check this out. I can drop security on this. <laughs> and it gives you a security look. Now, you can also go in and change this. So let's say I wanted to change this to, say, camera A, for example. And I could even change the time and everything here so I could make it, oh, I don't know, uh, 2 p.m. So you get the idea. And what it does is it gives you a look of like a security camera. Isn't that kind of cool? Okay, so staying on this shot, the behind the scenes of this uh, kind of an overhead rig I was working on. So there's a couple in here I've used quite a bit. So you've got aged film. So if you notice, just kind of running that over it, notice this, well, here, I'll just drop it on there. Notice the streaks it gives you. But again, you could even make it look more old, if you will. There's one on here called Super 8. So if I drop Super 8, and remember, you can stack these. And notice that all of a sudden it has just kind of an older, cool look. Occasionally you'll see it in there but you can you can add layer upon layer of these and it just gives you different looks i can add a frame on here i've done this before and notice it look all of a sudden now it looks like it's like an old film and you can change keep in mind this is where you'll see everything you can change the look of that now i've never used any i've used these as this the 35 millimeter but that's pretty cool Okay, I want to show you this. Uh, a few years ago, one of my favorite shows of all time is 24. I had a chance to go and meet Kiefer in the cast when they did 24 Live Another Day. But I want to show you this. Static shot, right? Well, if you go over here to stylize, and there's handheld. Now watch this. I'm going to drop this on and check it out. Notice it gives you a little handheld movement. But you can also, in, you can increase it. There you go. Turn it off. Turn it on. So this is a this is great here. We'll go even go to this static shot so you can see it again. This is a way to add some movement to your shot when it's maybe just you. But this is actually kind of a, a cool way of adding movement to a shot. All right, coming back to the, the shot of Kiefer, this is one I use all the time. It's called camcorder. So we're going to drop camcorder on here. And look, it actually gives you the effect of a camcorder. Now, you can you can change the size of things in here. One of the things I like to do is I like to drop the battery level because, I mean, who shoots with a full battery, right? Isn't that really cool? Now, you can turn that off, but I leave it on. Now, think about this. Let's take that and then let's drop the handheld on top of it and give it a little bit more shake. And look at this. I mean, that's that's like one nervous dude that's shooting this. But you get the point. Again, stacking effects that come with Final Cut Pro. Now, I want to show you a couple of audio effects that also come with Final Cut Pro. And, I, and I've done a video that really does a deep dive into one of these. But you select your cut. Now, let me, let me play so you can hear the audio. Very, I think, profound judgment on what the character would and would not do. OK, so you get that it's noisy, right? We're going to stop that. We're going to come up here, voice isolation. Now listen to this. Do, uh, but right, you know Howard Gordon and Off. Manny Cotto and, and uh, Evan Katz have been writing the character One. for those eight years as well. I'm telling you, voice isolation is a game changer, and it comes with it. Now you can also do something else that's called loudness. Here's, uh, let me go up here. 
So this is actually the open of this video right here. So this is going to be a little meta for you. Let's just call it Final Cut Pro. How about it? There are some... Um, so if I add voice isolation and loudness, and I a lot of times I back it down to about 25. There's nothing scientific about that. But listen, bro, how about it? There are some amazing things that come built in with it. One of the things I love about Final Cut, voice isolation for me is, is probably the coolest thing. And again, there's a whole video I did on this. I'll put a link down in the, into the description if you want to check it out. Now, something you need to know about Final Cut Pro is it's Mac only. So if you don't have a Mac, maybe there's a reason to buy a Mac. And if you have any questions about any of the plugins I covered, let me know below. Or if there's one I didn't talk about, let me know about that one as well. And if you want to do even more with Final Cut Pro, check out the videos on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating because the world needs you. See you next time.